Hi, this is Mike Schwartz. I'm the founder and CEO of Glue. And this, in this video, I'm going to tell you why CA SiteMinder is overrated. Well, for one, it's too expensive. If you didn't know this already, get, get your checkbook out for your organization because it's going to cost you quite a lot to license, pay for maintenance, and integrate SiteMinder. But that's just the beginning of the story here. Uh, operationally speaking, SiteMinder is going is is just the wrong model. the The idea with SiteMinder, while SiteMinder was sort of a trailblazer in the late 90s, you know, in the 2013, it's looking kind of old. So the the approach of SiteMinder is is sort of top down. That web application developers are going to install a SiteMinder agent in their web server, and the SiteMinder team is generally going to manage the configuration for the SiteMinder agent and set the policies for who can access what URLs. Um, so th this model means that, that the um, application integration process for SiteMinder is really slow and also the amount of effort it takes to maintain this, this the, the, the number of web agents that are required to support enterprise application is, is just really high. So from a price licensing standpoint and from an operating standpoint, SiteMinder is looking like a very expensive proposition. However, cost is just one factor. The other, the other factor I would say is that SiteMinder doesn't really work for external applications. Google or Salesforce is never going to install a SiteMinder agent on their, on their service. So the idea that we could have a top-down approach to security is not working in a world where some of the applications are off the shelf, some of them are custom internal applications, some of them are SaaS service. So there's been a real move to open standards for integrating with applications and providing a more self-service approach to web application developers for how can you integrate the um, uh, authentication service so we can use the organiza organization central authentication service and an authorization service and align to their standards without having to implement some type of top-down security to, to achieve this. My recommendation for you is to move to open source and open standards and recognize that while SiteMinder once was great, that now it's frankly just overrated.